Why is Starship the most powerful rocket ever built? Many point to its massive design, but an equally critical factor receives far less attention, the relentless evolution of the Raptor engine. Raptor 3 is expected to debut within weeks, yet SpaceX and Elon Musk are already signaling the next leap with Raptor 4. This future iteration is projected to introduce sweeping upgrades that push engine performance to new extremes and redefine benchmarks for power. If those gains are realized, Raptor 4 could surpass every competing engine, including Blue Origin's BE-4. So how will this next generation achieve such an advantage? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The existence of such a version has been suggested directly by Elon Musk himself, the CEO of SpaceX. During an interview at Starbase with Everyday Astronaut, Musk discussed the future of the Raptor engine family and made a striking statement. He noted that a future Raptor could reach 330 30 tons of thrust. While he did not explicitly label this engine as Raptor 4, the numbers tell a clear story. An increase of roughly 50 tons of thrust over Raptor 3 is far too large to be a minor upgrade or a small variant such as a hypothetical Raptor 3X. Such a leap strongly suggests an entirely new version. In other words, a clean break from the current generation. At 330 tons of thrust, this future Raptor would be approximately 17% more powerful than the Raptor engine we are about to see enter service. That increase may sound incremental on paper, but at the scale of Starship, it's transformative. To understand why, let's consider the math. Starship's Super Heavy Booster uses 33 Raptor engines at liftoff. Multiply 330 tons of thrust by 33 engines and you arrive at a staggering 10,890 tons of total thrust. That translates to roughly 24 million pounds of force pushing the vehicle off the launch pad. This number matters because it crosses a symbolic and practical threshold. With Raptor 4, SpaceX would officially surpass the 10,000 ton liftoff thrust mile. Milestone. Raptor 3, despite being extraordinarily powerful, tops out at around 9,240 tons of total thrust. Impressive, but still short of this long-stated goal. Musk has repeatedly emphasized how important this milestone is. Last December, while comparing Starship to the Saturn V, he explained the significance in clear terms. He stated that Starship already has more than twice the thrust of Saturn V. He then added that when Raptor reaches 300 tons of thrust at liftoff, which Raptor Raptor 3X could probably achieve, and Raptor 4 certainly would, Starship would reach 10,000 metric tons of thrust at liftoff. That equates to roughly 22.5 million pounds of force, or almost exactly three times the thrust of Saturn V. More recently, in November, Musk reinforced the point by highlighting another advantage. He stated that Raptor 4 should outperform the Merlin engine by more than 10 times in cost per ton of thrust, while also improving thrust to weight ratio and specific impulse. This underscores that Raptor 4 is not just about brute force, it's about efficiency, economics, and scalability. Thrust, however, is only one part of of the story. Another critical metric Musk has mentioned is impulse, particularly for vacuum-optimized engines. He noted that within a few years, SpaceX expects a field of Raptor 3 or Raptor 4 vacuum variant to field a Raptor 3 or Raptor 4 vacuum variant with a giant nozzle and a specific impulse of around 380 seconds. That number carries enormous implications. Higher specific impulse translates directly into more efficient propellant use, and those gains compound rapidly. Starship could lift more cargo or carry more passengers without increasing tank volume. Payload margins would grow, reusability would improve as well, with larger propellant reserves available for landing. Most critically, high-impulse vacuum raptors would dramatically strengthen deep space capability, supporting everything from sustained lunar operations to eventual missions to Mars. Up to this point, the focus has been on sea-level raptors, but improvements at sea level level naturally propagate to vacuum variants. The Raptor 3 vacuum engine is expected to generate roughly 306 tons of thrust. If a Raptor 4 sea level engine pushes beyond that mark, a Raptor 4 vacuum variant could take an even larger step forward. Thrust levels exceeding 350 tons are well within reason, placing it in an entirely new performance class. Reaching these performance targets will likely require a combination of design changes. SpaceX could further expand the nozzle to improve efficiency in vacuum, increase combustion chamber pressure, or pursue both paths simultaneously. The company has already
already pushed chamber pressures to levels once considered unrealistic, and there is little indication that this momentum is slowing. But power alone does not define the Raptor 4 vision. The other defining pillar is simplification. That trajectory is already clear. From Raptor 1 to Raptor 2 and now into Raptor 3, each generation has deliberately removed small, fragile, and failure-prone components. Complex plumbing has been streamlined. External fittings have been eliminated or fully integrated. With every iteration, the engine has become cleaner, more compact, and significantly more robust. All of that momentum converges in Raptor 3, the clearest expression yet of this design philosophy. Many of the delicate elements that challenged early Raptors have been eliminated entirely, leaving an engine far more resilient to heat, vibration, and manufacturing variability. Looking ahead, speculation continues to build that future Raptors could push even further in this direction, potentially evolving toward a near-monolithic design with major components integrated into a single structural block. Whether that exact configuration ultimately materializes remains uncertain, but the trajectory is clear. Fewer parts, fewer joints, fewer failure points. If that path holds, the benefits begin immediately with mass. Eliminating complex assemblies reduces the need for fasteners, flanges, and redundant structural supports. Lower engine mass, paired with higher thrust, translates directly into improved vehicle performance. Raptor 3 already tips the scale at roughly 1,525 kilograms, down from 1,600 kilograms for Raptor 2, and it's reasonable to expect Raptor 4 to fall below the 1500 kilogram mark. Second, reliability would rise alongside simplicity. Many engine risks stem from small, intricate components. Leaks, localized overheating, and vibration-induced failures often trace back to complex assemblies. Simplifying the design eliminates these weaknesses at their source. Production is equally critical. Even with its relative complexity, Raptor 2 reached a manufacturing rate of roughly one engine per day. Once the design stabilized, SpaceX proved that high-volume engine production is achievable. With fewer parts and a more straightforward assembly process, Raptor 3 could scale to multiple engines per day as the design fully matures. Raptor 4 could push this even further. A production rate exceeding 10 engines per day is not out of the question. Such numbers would be essential to support a future fleet of starships, especially if SpaceX intends to fly frequently and build large numbers of vehicles. Post-flight inspection and refurbishment would also benefit enormously. A simpler engine is easier to inspect and faster to turn around. Combined with similar simplification across the rest of Starship, this could enable turnaround times that sound almost unbelievable. Ships reused daily, super heavy boosters reused every hour, dozens of flights per day from a single launch site. That is the mechanism through which SpaceX intends to fundamentally reshape access to space. Raptor 4 is not simply another engine upgrade, it's a cornerstone of the long-term Starship business case. The clearest point of comparison is Blue Origin's BE-4, another methane-fueled engine. For years, thrust was one of the few areas where BE-4 held a clear edge. From the outset, it produced roughly 250 tons of thrust, surpassing both Raptor 1 and 2, which delivered about 185 and 230 tons, respectively. Their narrative changed with the arrival of Raptor 3. At roughly 280 tons of thrust, Raptor 3 finally surpassed BE-4, removing one of Blue Origin's Origin's key talking points. However, Blue Origin has not stood still. After successfully completing two New Glenn launches this year, the company announced plans to upgrade the next flight. The core of that upgrade is an increase in BE-4 thrust. Blue Origin has stated that it demonstrated around 283 tons of thrust on test stands and aims to reach 290 tons, or approximately 640,000 pounds, of force. SpaceX's response appears straightforward. Raptor 4 would decisively reverse the situation even without Raptor 4, SpaceX could potentially introduce a Raptor 3X variant approaching 300 tons of thrust. With Raptor 4, the gap would widen substantially. It's also important to remember that individual engine thrust is only part of the equation. Starship's architecture allows SpaceX to cluster far more engines than New Glenn. As a result, Starship's total liftoff power remains many times greater than that of New Glenn, regardless of incremental BE-4 upgrades. 
Simplicity is another area where the comparison strongly favors SpaceX. BE Force complexity appears roughly comparable to early Raptor versions. This suggests it'll struggle to achieve the level of integration and simplicity seen in Raptor 3 or envisioned for Raptor 4. Complex engines take longer to build, cost more to produce, and require extensive inspection and refurbishment. Operational consequences follow. With turnaround times remaining long, risks remain higher. The 10 month gap between New Glenn first and second launches illustrates how complexity slows progress. Compounding the issue, BE-4 must also support ULA's Vulcan Centaur, placing additional strain on production capacity. Competition also exists beyond the US. In China, numerous companies are developing rockets that resemble SpaceX designs. Many draw inspiration from Falcon 9 while adopting stainless steel structures similar to Starship. methane fueled engines are becoming increasingly common, and some even closely resemble Raptor 3 in appearance. In terms of thrust, however, none of these engines currently approach SpaceX's Raptors. While visual similarity is easy to copy, the underlying engineering is far more difficult to replicate. Even successful engines such as Landspace's Tianchui-12 remain far behind in overall capability. Before any of this becomes reality, however, SpaceX must first succeed with Raptor 3. For now, all eyes are on Raptor 3 and its upcoming debut. SpaceX continues to demonstrate an almost limitless capacity for iteration and improvement. Nowhere is that more visible than in the evolution of its main engine. Trust continues to rise, simplicity continues to improve, and efficiency continues to advance. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.